Let's see whether today turns out to be one of those days because in any case, it's a truncated week with tomorrow uh, being a trading holiday on account of Gandhi Jayanti. 25,850 for the Nifty. It's a mildly uptick, uh, mild uptick of a start that we're having both on the Nifty as well as the Sensex. The Nifty Bank as well, very, very quiet. Uh, mid caps again, no uh, material move there, pretty tempered there as well. Uh, the small caps though, they're definitely taking the lead with a half a percent of an uptake. Flat for M&M as well, the monthly sales data, um, you know, fails to impress the street. Kodak Bank though has started off uh, well in the green, unlike the pre-open rates that started off with a jump up of seven tenths of a percent. Bajaj Auto holding up well, but what about Hero? Murukov, given the kind of slam that you had on that stock, Escorts of course looking good by about 6 tenths. Hero Murukov as well has seen a bit of a recovery play out, although that was not quite the case yesterday because yesterday you had the stock fall about almost 4.5%. What about the constituents of the Nifty Bank? ICICI Bank, after that 2.5% fall yesterday, is that seeing any resurrection? Or for that matter, is BI and Axis also? Axis, remember, fell a good 3% yesterday. I can't see much of a material move on ICICI Bank. It's as, as best uh, flat, at best flat. Half a percent higher for Axis and SBI also remember fell about almost 2% uh, in trade yesterday. That stock too. Uh, just about mildly in the green as we speak right now. Metal seem to be the only sort of, you know, island of safety as of now. Uh, let's see whether those rates or that trend at least is getting replicated. NMDC, JSW, um, um, even Atara Steel and Hindalco for that matter. Though that trade also is somewhat seeing a bit of a reversal coming in. Okay, m and has now finally picked up 1% higher for m and as we speak right now. Muthut Manapuram seeing a crack, 2.6% lower for Muthut. Manapuram down about almost 2%. Um, I want to see what Tata Power as well is up to. They've signed an MOU with the Rajasthan government with the commitment capex of 1.2 lakh crore rupees. NTPC, they've again signed an MOU with the Rajasthan government for uh, uh, development of a 25 gigawatt of renewable energy projects. So look out for those names as well. And then of course, there's uh, you know a blue dart. They've announced a price increase of 9 to 12% effective January 1st, 2025. So look out for what that stock as well does in trade. What about Interglobe and SpiceJet? The ATF price cut by 6%, which is now at a six month low. That definitely should be having a bearing on some of these names. Uh, one and a quarter percent higher for Interglobe Aviation. SpiceJet gaps up four and a half percent. Aadhaar Housing then, Investec has initiated a buy, target price 600 rupees per share on that stock. And then of course, Bank of Maharashtra as well, wherein that QIP of 3,500 crore rupees goes on floor today. So look out for what that stock as well does in trade. But tempered, it's trying to edge up about three tenths of a percent higher. We're trying to get closer to that 26k mark. We're still a good hundred points away. Oh yes, indeed. Uh, so uh, hoping to uh, conquer that level yet again. But for now, it's uh, tempered at best. In terms of individual sectors, where is it that you're seeing uh, the Philip coming in? It's pretty much across the board, actually. So auto in firm Petal, IT as well, doing quite well. And the energy basket is in the green. Metals, they're taking a bit of a back seat, but do remember it's been nothing short of a pretty ferocious move on the upside these past few days. And Pharma, it's sitting it out today. So Kunal, just taking a look at the screen, the fact that we've gotten off to a very measured start uh, to the month of October. Uh, let's get in a sense as to what the trading day could potentially look like and what is your first trade? So I think we could plan for a bounce for the indices and I think it would make sense for uh, you know intraday traders to look out for index sustaining the uh, you know rally by at least the first half an hour, first one hour. So I would expect the Nifty to come back uh, closer to that 25, uh, 900, 25, mark uh, on the spot levels and for the bank Nifty to try and come back to that 53,300 odd mark. In terms of the opening trade, I would look out for ONGC. That's a chart which has shown a lot of recovery over the last uh, you know few days and the stock is coming back to the 300 plus breakout on a much more stronger volume pattern as compared to the downfall. So that's a chart which I'd look to buy. Okay, Nuresh, let's find out what you're looking at. Is it a large cap stock? That's your first trade? So that would be a buy on Kotak Bank, which has corrected well in the last few sessions. Looks uh, good for a bounce back. Okay, let's move on. And
There comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise. Plant your feet solid into the ground. Decide your own limits and then break right through them. Become something more. It's my time to rise.